Joel, and I like to make weird stuff. You probably know me from my voice-controlled Power Wheels, the sci-fi movie set that I built, or maybe the time that I strapped a paintball gun to my CNC machine to make pixel art. Now let's face it, you probably know me from my hot glue gun video because it's 10 times larger than any other video that I have. I made it just over a year ago when my channel was still only a few months old and only had a few hundred subscribers. Now for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, here's the quick version. The YouTuber Michael Reeves made a video where he made fun of some of his subscribers for giving him crappy ideas, and then he built some of those ideas, and one of them was a hot glue gun. Now the hot glue gun did not work very well, and it was clear that he was making a joke. But I really like the idea of a hot glue gun, so I made a video where I made fun of him for not doing a very good job, and then I built my own hot glue gun that shot induction heated glue balls. It's a good video, but you know, fuck you still. Most people like this video, but some people thought that I genuinely didn't like Michael Reeves, which isn't true. I just wanted to poke at him in the same way that he was poking at his subscribers. So a whole bunch of people decided to poke at me, in the comments. One of the main recurring themes in the comments, besides the fact that everybody hated my fucking soul patch, was the fact that they wanted to see a stream of hot glue fired out of a weapon and not a projectile. Because of this, some people questioned the validity of my glue gun altogether. So what did I do about all these comments? Well, I built a new hot glue gun. And instead of shooting induction heated glue balls, this one actually shoots a stream of hot glue. You see, I take all your comments really seriously. Let me show you. This is Richie. Hello. Richie is a robotic lion that I modified to read me the comments from my glue gun video. Manually reading through thousands of comments can sometimes leave you not really absorbing the information. So I specifically designed Richie to read me the comments when I least expect it. Fuck you. Your execution of your plan sucks. The main idea of induction heating a metal object inside of a glue ball cool machine was a good start, but it was ruined by your execution of just throwing whatever metal garbage you could find into your glue balls. Still a shitty idea. You are trash. My idea may sound like a strange idea at first, but hear me out. What you should have done differently is that you should have started by using a fine metallic powder, which would be more difficult to heat, but would end up as a don't copy Reeves bitch, much more reliable glue projectile. You would then need a higher power induction heater to heat the powder faster from the inside so that the powder doesn't... Cool, cool, nobody gives a fuck. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Melt the outer edge of the bolt before being fired. With this method you will end up with a more reliably sticking ball that is less... Viscous. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Allowing it to live up to expectations better than your dumpster fire of a paintball gun. Cheers. Alright, let's cut to the chase. You want to see this bad boy in action. Check this out. Three, two, one. Now, let's grab this Roomba that we have on our wall. And let's see if we can't stick it. Ta-da! Look at that! <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Look at that, that is practical. You can stick your Roomba to anything. Okay, I think the Roomba's falling apart. I didn't put it back together very well. Wow, it is really, whoa! I would say that the hot glue has pretty good strength. You know what, I wanna get some beans. All right, we got the beans. As you can see, these are full cans of beans. They have some heft to them. Ow. This is the bean test. And three, two, one. And one. Oh. Uh -huh. It won't. Oh. My beans. It's still hot in some places. Let's do the other one. Wow, that, um, that works really well. I think we need to get some slow motion shots 
coming out of the barrel. I did do some test fires on a scale and found that the equivalent weight of the glue that I shoot is about one whole stick. And as you can see, it comes out really fast. In three, two, one. Can I stick a drill to it? Okay. You miss 100% of the glue gun shots that you don't shoot. All right, we are up to temperature. Let's do this. Three, two, one. In this video, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time coming up with appropriate glue-related puns. So please, in the comments below, write down the glue jokes that I really should have done. In three, two, one. Now, no glue gun test would be complete without, you guessed it, popsicle sticks. But I should quickly touch on how I built this thing and how it works first. The body of the hot glue gun is a piece of 8020 aluminum framing cut and joined into a basic L shape. A CO2 tank mount is attached to the bottom. A welding switch is attached to the handle, and this is the electronic trigger for the gun. Four lithium battery cases are wired for 12 volts and attached along the length of the frame. I machined the long piece of 8020 to fit the body of a valve. The valve attaches the gas line from the bottom of the gun to a stainless tube. The stainless tube attaches to an aluminum manifold. I drilled a small hole in the manifold for a nozzle. We'll come back to that later. For the upper body of the glue gun, I engraved and cut two plates out of a fluorescent acrylic. I chose fluorescent acrylic because I think it looks awesome and gives the glue gun kind of a cyberpunk look. These plates have cutouts in them for mounting a voltmeter and a digital temperature controller. The temperature controller sends power to a heating element in the manifold at the front. After some sketchy tests of heating element designs, I ended up having to wrap the manifold with heating element and then covering it with high temperature foil tape. Now the manifold acts as a heated pressure chamber. All of the holes in it are filled with plugs and the top plug is taken off when you want to refill the glue inside. The chamber is mounted vertically so that the glue will sink to the bottom under the force of gravity. When the trigger is pulled, the valve opens up to allow 800 psi from the CO2 tank to pressurize the heated manifold, forcing the glue to fly out the small nozzle at the bottom. Once most of the glue has flown out in a continuous stream, the remaining pressurized air can then escape and mixes with small bits of residual hot glue to create a web-like spray. This all happens in about the time it takes to pull and release the trigger. Three, two, one. All right, enough technical specs. Let's see if we can't set some records by making the world's quickest popsicle stick fence. And these are super ultra jumbo popsicle sticks. You can buy these, uh, well, I guess you can buy them for me because I had to make them special. Behind me, you can see my cat, but also you can see I have arranged some popsicle sticks on the ground into a fence shape. And now we're gonna see how quickly we can adhere them to each other. And three. Two, one. Nope, it all went right there. Okay, can we smear it? Can we smear, smear? <laughs> Check this out. That is a popsicle stick fence. I don't know what it's gonna keep out, but yeah. Practical. I know some of you are probably wondering, hey, how far does this thing actually shoot? We are at 20 feet. In three, two, one. Eh. So you're probably not gonna get much more than 10 really good feet and maybe 15, 16, 20 if you really stretch it. But still, that's not bad compared to the previous record of point blank. So, is this a hot glue gun? Do you think that this really works? Is this true enough to the original idea? Am I being nice enough to Michael Reeves in this video? Please let me know in grotesque detail in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. An extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Nerd Inventor, James Burke Jr., Scott Jacobson, Dustin Muller, Latin Collins, Andrew T. Heaton, Caitlin Hartlaub, Metaculture, Mad saw some stuff. <laughs>